What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this outline glow effect instead of after effects. Now the first thing that we got to go ahead and do is mask out our wheel here. So I'm just going to go up to this ellipse tool right here and let's just go over to a frame that is pretty visible so we can see the full uh, wheel here. So I'm going to go ahead and hold shift and drag onto my screen right here with the tool and you can see it makes a perfect circle and if you don't have shift selected then you'll just get like an uneven <laughs> uh, not rounded circle so you just want to hold shift drag it out so it's like around the size of the tire there and with that mask right here we can just bring this to none so we can actually see what we're doing and let's just drag these points fit around the tire here you might have to fix it it might not be perfect so just drag uh, the points around the tire there and that looks pretty good so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is right click the mask hit track mask and it'll bring up this tracker right here and let's just go ahead and track backwards first so just hit this little backwards arrow and it'll start tracking backwards as you can see it's doing a super good job here um, so we don't really have to do anything which is nice and i'm just going to go back to that first frame as you can see right here the little dots or i guess keyframes indicate where we started and if your tracker disappeared just make sure that your mask is selected here and let's just click this tracker and track forward now so now what we want to do is duplicate this layer so i'm going to hit control D just to duplicate that and on the bottom layer we can go ahead and delete that mask and then now back on this top layer just go into the mask here and bring this to add so if you toggle off the bottom layer you can now see the wheel is just outlined here and the edges are a bit rough so if you hit F on that top layer it'll bring up the mask feather and we can bring this to like 20 or 30 or something it'll be easier to tell once we have the effects applied so let's go ahead and start adding the effects the first effect that we want to go ahead and apply is called find edges so let's bring this into our clip here and just hit invert now already you can see that the edges are being shown on this wheel here now we want to go ahead and add an effect called glow i'm just going to use a default glow because i don't really want to use any plugins for this tutorial because i know a lot of you guys won't have all of the plugins that i have so i'm going to try to keep it as simple and uh easy to do so yeah we're just going to use this default glow here bring the glow threshold to 20%, the glow radius to 20%, and the glow intensity to 3. Those are just the settings I like to use, but obviously you guys can customize it and change it to however you want it to be. I'm also going to change the glow colors from original to A and B. And to match the red car here, I'm actually going to make both of the colors here red. So for color A, I'm going to make that red. And for color B, I'm going to make that red. So now we have this like red glow outline effect, I guess, on this wheel here, which looks super clean. So I'm really liking how that's looking right now. But I want to go ahead and reveal it because I want the original wheel to show first and then slowly, uh, I guess, like reveal this effect here. So it's not too hard to do. We just want to go here into our effects and find linear wipe. And it'll just be this transition right here. Bring that into our effects here and i'm going to change this wipe angle to negative 90 degrees so it's coming in from the left side instead of the right and you just want to drag this percentage until you don't see it anymore so around 53 percent uh works for me so i'm just going to hit a keyframe at the very start of my timeline here and then let's just go like pretty much towards the end and then bring this all the way till we see it so like right there i'm gonna bring that to 26 percent and then i'm just gonna go into the keyframes here by hitting u on the keyboard and easy ease those two keyframes we created and if you don't know how to easy ease you can just go to keyframe assistant and easy ease or f9 but once those are easy eased you just want to go into the graph editor and just create a simple graph that looks something like this where it slowly starts out and then ramps up right here and it slows down so and if you don't want these harsh edges right here we can go here to the feather and bring this to like 30 percent or even more if you want but it's up to you i think it looks a little bit better when it's feathered out and there we go that is pretty much all it is to this tutorial it's a pretty simple effect but i think it looks super cool and you can always mess with it and use it for different things you can use it for like the spoiler here or literally the whole entire car if you want to but yeah have fun using this effect in your edits and if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out